Hey everybody, welcome back. <laughs> Alright, I had some time to record a video today, so this is going to be roughly edited, or just roughly cut up a little bit. And I wanted to talk about my more traditional work, and just my stuff of just being an artist. Because it's very fun and very great to do. I am working on watercolor paintings, or using markers, or ha doing half-finished regular drawings, like Ada from Resident Evil 4. It's always important to just have fun, and I love getting to experiment. You don't have to have the best materials to really be an artist. Sometimes I get, get the local stuff. It's expensive at times, but it is worth it, as long as you're having fun. Another little tip that it's always important to keep like a layout of the work you've already done. If especially if you're doing grandiose projects, when you get these things printed, you can always print them in stages, even if they're unfinished. So this way you can get a closer look at things and how it could be rendered better. Especially I found that doing comics work. With enough time doing comics, you always have you always it's always important to get your stuff printed in stages or animation work do character sheets and always have your layouts printed so you can use them to your advantage what works with your layouts in art that's always important to understand your pr perspective or understand certain things if you have a layout drawn hold on to it it's <laughs> always important if you have just a roughly drawn or painted art piece like this one of Pr princess peach it's fine always be wary and always be you know <laughs> a lot of things always be a lot of things i should say be going through my own work there's always something you can learn from previous pieces even the most detailed ones, you can learn just a little bit of what, how you did it in the various stages because it's always great to learn depth, shading, shadowing, especially perspective. Perspective can be the biggest tool in your arsenal. You can be doing regular media and using the basic materials, the day-to-day, -day, like I use occasionally, or you can be doing digital. But always keep in mind, practice, practice, practice. <laughs> you can need, you always can need better materials, but it's always important to practice. Because if you don't, it's never going to end well. Regardless of what you're working on. Whether it's comics, prints, the basic day-to-day -day art, like Nathan Drake here. But uh, until next time, guys. Peace out, and bye-bye.